happy Thanksgiving and welcome to my kitchen. So I'm gonna just quickly show you around the kitchen area and the dining room area and show you the little decorations that my brother put up. Um, he's pretty good at decorating and I'm so bad about that. So I'm just grateful that he was there to help me set up. And I'm loving these little placements that he found. They're so cute. So let's start out with what ingredients I used for the turkey. So these are all the ingredients that I used. I know it's a little much. I know a lot of people just use salt and pepper, but I use all kinds of stuff. I like my turkey to have a lot of flavor, so I included a lot of spices in there. So I just mixed all the spices into my butter, add my lemon and my oil, and then I just uh, put it all in a Ziploc bag and then cut a hole on the bottom. And then I you know, separate all of my skin from my turkey. So that way you can insert the ingredients inside the skin. That way the ingredients can soak in really good and the turkey will have lots of flavor. So once you have the ingredients inside the skin, you just rub it around just to make sure it gets nicely spread. And then you just kind of massage the turkey just to make sure all the ingredients are fully spread throughout the turkey. Then I just add some chicken broth to the turkey so it doesn't burn. And then I rub some more spices on top and close tightly with some foil paper. So the foil paper is going to keep the moisture in. And you're going to toss it in the oven at about 400 to 425 for about four to five hours, depending on how big your turkey is. Now onto the cornbread casserole. So these are all the ingredients that I used. You're just gonna mix all the ingredients together and you're going to toss it in the oven at 425 for about 40 minutes. And at the end, you're gonna sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top, toss it back in for five minutes, let the cheese melt, and it's ready to go. green bean casserole. These are the ingredients that I used and you're just going to mix everything together. You're going to put a, almost a, the full box of the onions but leave some for the very end um, or where you're going to place them on top and you're going to throw it back in the oven for about 10 minutes so they can get nice and crispy on top and that's it. For the candied yams, I usually boil the yams, but um, I want to crunch. So we're just going to use these two cans of yams, add all these ingredients to it, mix it. So you're going to bake this at 400 for about 35 to 40 minutes, and then you're going to place it uh, back in the oven with the marshmallows for about five minutes just so they can get nice and toasty and it's good to go. So for the scalloped potatoes, it's super easy. You just follow the instructions on the box and don't forget to use boiling water so that it comes out nice and the ingredients will mix easier with the hot water. Now for the pumpkin spice flan cake, you're going to make the flan first. So add all the ingredients and stir very good.
sure that you oil the pan that you're going to bake it in and you're going to put that pan in another pan and less than half of the pan full of water. So for the caramel that goes on the bottom of the pan, you're just going to melt some sugar until it becomes caramel. Now this can be a lengthy process because you have to put it on low so it doesn't burn. But have some patience with this. Place the caramel in the pan, make sure you place it in right away because it starts to get hard pretty quick. And then you're going to place the flan right on top. So you're going to bake the flan for about 40 to 45 minutes at 350 degrees. And while that's baking, you're going to go ahead and start on the cake part of the dessert. So for the cake, it's fairly easy. Just follow the instructions on the box. So once the flan's done, uh, you're going to take it out and then you just pour the cake on top. And then you're going to bake the cake. You're going to bake the cake according to the instructions on the box. So this is how the flan came out. It came out pretty decent. So this is how the turkey came out and the rest of the side. I'm so thankful for all the family that joined me this Thanksgiving and I'm wishing you all a happy Thanksgiving with lots and lots of food. So I tried to make this video as fast and easy as possible because I know Thanksgiving can be pretty overwhelming. So hopefully this helps some people out in the kitchen. Thanks for watching. Salud. Salud. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, you make a lot of money. Amen.